Okay, so I'm going to uh, give an overview of a method called Learning with Errors. Learning with Errors is proposed as a new method of public key encryption. With public key encryption, we have two keys. We have a public key, which we can distribute, and then we have a private key, which uh, will then we keep secret, and that's the thing that will decrypt our ciphertext. So the problem that we have with a discrete logarithm, such as with RSA, is that our keys are based on the multiplication of two prime numbers. And then the difficulty is that uh, we computers find it difficult to actually factorise the value of n here into the original prime numbers. If that is possible, then the RSA method has been uh, cracked. When we distribute our encryption keys, we send out e, n. So if we can factorise n, we can find the decryption key and so on. Unfortunately, quantum computers might come along and might be able to actually crack uh, the value of n uh, within a reasonable time uh, limit. Okay, so there's where we are now, and we possibly have to move away from this towards probably much simpler methods uh, that are based on communication type theory, uh, error correction, and, and so on. So learning with errors is one method that's proposed to be robust, but also is a good in terms of lightweight cryptography and that we don't have a lot of battery drain and CPU usage and so on. And the, the, the problem that, that we have, or the core of the solution, is that when we have values of T, G, uh, we have the values of T and G that are known, it's actually quite difficult to find the value of S, which is our secret, uh, based on, on that. So we have a secret value here, that even though we know T and G, actually it's quite difficult to know what the value of S was to be able to cause that, the, that, that, that result. Okay, so let's take an example. So let's say the message we want to send is, is a 1. So the first thing that we do is we create a random set of uh, numbers uh, and in this case uh, we'll create a random numbers of 5, 8, 12, 16, 2 and 6, 11, 3, 7 and 10. Okay, so those are the random numbers that, that we actually create. Uh, and let's create a secret key. So we'll take S is equal to 5. That will be uh, the, the encryption key that we're actually going to use. And then we'll take an E value of 12. Okay, so th that's the value that we're going to use to be able to find out the, the value of, of T. So the first thing we'll do is we create our, our public key. So our public key uh, becomes the the, the uh, the values of our random values times the secret plus e. So in this case we'll take 5 times 5 plus 12, so we end up with 37. And we'll take 8 times 5, which is 40, 52, and so on. So I think the next ones are 72, 92, 22, 42, uh, 67, 27, 47 and 62. Okay, so this is our the, the values that uh, that we get for our public key. Yeah, so that's what our public key uh, actually looks like. We're now going to take a, a, a sample of those, and in this case, we'll take the values of 52 and 27 here, and 92, 62 and 42. Okay, so uh, this is our value of T that we get. This is a G and T and now we generate a public key uh, based on those values. So what we now do is we create a sum of those values 
and the sum of those values equates to 2, 7, 5. Okay, when we add those values up. If the value that we have is a 1, we add 1 onto there, so our transmitted message becomes 276. If the value was a 0, we would transmit 275. Okay, so in this case, we've transmitted 276 is the, the value that we're actually going to send. Okay, so that's the, that's the encrypted value. Now what we have to do is that we have to be able to now uh, decrypt. And the way that we do that is that we take the remainder of uh, 275 and we take our secret of 5. Okay, so, uh, sorry, 276. 276. And we take the remainder of our secret. And if the value is 1, we transmitted a 1. If it's a 0, we transmitted a 0. So 276 divided by 5 gives us 5, 26. That's 5 remainder 1. So we can see that the value is a 1 that we actually sent, which is, which is true. If the value had been a 0, then we would have just sent 275. When we divide 275 by 5, our secret, 275 by 5, then that is 55, remainder 0. So in this way, we can actually determine uh, the result uh, of it by keeping our secret value, uh, our, our pr private key. So obviously it's much more complicated than this in, in practice, but it shows you uh, a basic outline of how learning with errors actually works. Okay, thank you.